Und damit, Kay oder etwas knapp und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge vom Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Wir ja, starten rein. Das hat lange gedauert. This is a story of a man named Stanley. Wir kennen die Story. Ich würde sagen, wir skippen das Ganze. Und wir schauen uns ein paar Sachen an. Ähm. Um, die ein bisschen weird sind, heute ganz besonders, und zwar... Ich weiß nicht, ob das hier ist. Irgendwo kann man auf den Stuhl drauf. Ja. Warum? Und dann... kann man hier aus dem Fenster. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Warum ist auf einmal so laut geworden? So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why Weiß ich nicht. Es ist weird. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? That, um... Ah, then in that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, I see. and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option and now you've come to see what happens in this one. Yeah. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. Das stimmt. Am Anfang, als wir gerade reingestartet sind, stand da auch das Spiel beginnen und nicht fortsetzen. Was halt ein bisschen weird ist, aber ähm In Okay. Fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other options so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Um... Muss ich ernsthaft von... Ich dachte gerade, das blurrt so richtig cool aus hier, diese... Episch. Muss ich von Hand neu starten? Okay. Aber er hat mich jetzt halt auf die Idee gebracht, das andere zu nehmen. Was könnte das bedeuten? Stan hat sich entschieden, zu gehen. Vielleicht hat er einfach ein Memo verpasst. Es macht halt auch gar keinen Sinn, dass man hier hoch kann. So, komplett verbuggt auch. Komplett verbuggt auch. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the ja, nature of video games. Ich finde das Spiel ist sowieso extrem cool gemacht. And examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of... Das ist die Sache. Ich könnte jetzt, vielleicht habe ich jetzt eine Zeitspanne, wenn ich neu starte, passiert was. Aber ich will ja auch wissen, was er sagt, so... Das ist so meta, dieses Spiel. Ich finde, das ist mega, mega cool. Ich, ich weiß ja nicht, ich komme irgendwie gar nicht zum Reden. Es tut mir leid, es sind fünf Minuten. Ich habe wahrscheinlich erst zwei Wörter gesagt. 
Für den Qualitätscontent habt ihr abonniert. Apropos Leute, wir stehen kurz vor den 100 Abonnenten. Also falls du da draußen noch nicht abonniert hast, würde ich dir doch empfehlen, das jetzt zu tun. Dann kannst du nämlich sagen, ich habe Case on schon abonniert, bevor er 7 Milliarden Abonnenten hatte. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict genau. game, where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Ja, so, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told. He was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And this For real, this is echt witzig. Ich fühl das, hä? And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too. Ich frag mich, was der Typ, der das einspricht, sich eigentlich denkt, wenn er vom Spielentwickler die Texte bekommt. Oder vielleicht ist er ja auch der Spielentwickler und das ist noch cringiger, als es sowieso schon wäre. Applaus, Leute! Komm, wir wollen mal applaudieren hier. Woo! Innovativ. Ja. Wir starten noch einmal von vorne. Okay. Das war mir auf jeden Fall wichtig, dass ich euch das zeige, weil... Das ist weird. Das macht doch überhaupt keinen Sinn, dass man auf diesen Stuhl hoch kann. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his coworkers. Ganz weird, ganz weird auf jeden Fall. Stimmt, den Eimer gibt's ja auch noch. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together Warte. would be perfectly fine. Das Video, in dem ich gesehen habe, wo er das gemacht hat, hatte er einen Eimer in der Hand. Also ich habe mir ein Video angeschaut über einfach ein random Ende und es war das hier und er hatte halt noch einen Eimer in der Hand. Ich habe mir das Ende nicht angeschaut, ich habe nur geguckt, wie man hierher kommt. Vielleicht ist es mit dem Eimer anders? Ich glaube nicht. Yes. We put the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Weil ähm der Eimer, das habe ich auch schon gelesen, der verändert sehr, sehr viele Enden. Also wenn wir ein Ende am Anfang schon hatten und es mit dem Eimer nochmal durchlaufen, wird das Ende anders sein. Deshalb, ja. Okay. Of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man. To Der Eimer is sehr weird. Lest euch einfach mal die Dialoge durch. To manifest justice where none existed. And the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to die. Opportunities Oder to do so much. Geht das noch weiter? There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? he screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as. Bitte was? Also, jetzt wird's langsam skurril, Leute. Jetzt werde ich doch mal ein bisschen hellhöriger hier. Payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults 
I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... Oh yeah, Schwertkampf? My God, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. What? Wie weird is this All of his coworkers game. were gone. What could it mean? Okay, we make an other end. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We make the true ending. Haben wir eigentlich alle von denen? Ich weiß es nicht. Wir machen jetzt das True Ending. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wir laufen straight up weiter. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the but Stanley guessed the correct code by shit. Langsam habe ich ihn, Leute. Langsam ist er in meinem Kopf drin, der Code. Ich weiß es jetzt einfach. So. Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, das standardmäßige True Ending. Keine Ahnung, ob wir das schon mit dem Bucket gemacht haben oder nicht, aber wir machen es jetzt. So, fertig. Let's go. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the Bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this moment of uncertainty, he will be bis gerade eben noch tot. The Bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Also weiter runterfahren kann man anscheinend auch nicht. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket okay. both wondered to themselves. Jetzt schalten wir die Camps gleich ein. The monitors jumped to life and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Da sind wir jetzt hier an der Ecke vom Eimer. Wir machen mal einfach weiter. Was the bucket under the mind control facilities influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Ich sag no, gar nichts zu dem Eimer. Er into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. Also His eigentlich steht Stanley ja unter meiner Kontrolle. Point, Aber das sollten wir ihm besser nicht sagen, Leute. Also bleibt unter uns. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. Or sad, or content. 
Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Okay. Done. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah. So, what, what's passiert jetzt? Wie verändert sich das Ende durch den Bucket? Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves yeah. from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every... Okay. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. And... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room. Lingering in uncertainty. Okay, das Ende verändert sich. Also so, dass Stanley niemals freikommt. Also der Bucket scheint wirklich schlecht zu sein. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket. Was meint ihr, wie oft muss uns das Game noch sagen, dass wir den Eimer nicht mitnehmen sollen, bis wir es lernen? Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. Okay. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Boah, war das jetzt deep. Ich habe trotzdem ein sehr großes Problem damit. Was ist das Ende dieses Games? Und werden wir es jemals wirklich erreichen? Wenn ihr euch diese Frage auch stellt, dann schaltet beim nächsten Mal wieder ein. Wenn euch das jetzt gefallen hat, zeigt es gerne mit einer positiven Wertung. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dann und ciao, ciao, Leute.